is an instructional video detailing the applications and functions of the Phase 2 Digital Macro Vickers Hardness Tester with manual turret. These hardness testers are designed to test primarily metals using the Vickers Hardness Method. They are state-of-the-art, precise testing systems suitable for hardness analysis of metallic specimens in metallography laboratories or production environments. Phase 2 Macro Vickers Hardness Testers are closed-loop, load-cell-driven systems that provide the user with high-precision performance and results. Now let's move over to the operation of the hardness tester and see how easy it is to utilize the different functions, taking tests, and obtaining results. Let's begin with the unique design of this series hardness tester. The manual optic system with left and right measuring drum wheels. Though for today's demonstration video, we will use the digital optical system you see installed here on top and connected via USB cable to a laptop. Z-axis manual height and focus control. Manual turret containing both optics and the penetrator. And here is the control keypad, which is mostly bypassed by the software, which happens to be in complete control of the testing procedure, except for the manual turret for this series 900-398. Note that should anyone prefer to use this system without the digital optic system, they are free and able to do so. Manual optics with drums are in place and keypad can control all aspects of the test. However, today is quite rare to bypass the easy use of a computer screen to see the indentations clearly and work with data in a digital format. Let's take a look at the software interface on our laptop here, which is connected to the digital camera by a USB cable. Power up the machine first, then power up your software. Under top left HV, you will find HV measurement settings. The force should match your weight selector settings on the machine dial. Your test blocks that come with the machine have suggested weight loads to use. If you intend to do noob scale testing, the checkbox here must be marked, and your penetrator must be swapped from Vickers style to noob if you don't have a multi-penetrated turret. You can also set upper lower test limits, reporting formats and others from this screen. Now let's make sure the digital camera system is working and connected. On the top left, click on Capture. Then click on Image Capture Window. And then on the screen, Devices, select the R-Tray Camera. Next, move to Options and select Preview. This will open a preview screen and confirm the camera is working properly. Close the preview screen. Once you've determined your test position, move the turret to the penetrator position. Press the yellow start button and the instrument will begin by putting the load on. The red light by the loading sign on the left side of the keypad will blink. After the load is completed, the dwell LED lights up, and at this time, the dwell time begins counting down to zero. After the dwell time of test force is up, the unloading LED blinks, and the instrument automatically unloads the testing force. The instrument will beep when this is done. Upon completion, manually change the turret back to the 40 time optics to see the indentation made and begin measurement on the computer screen. Mouse select a square area over the indentation. Select auto measure if using the B version and reading will appear along with any converted value if so chosen. If you have an A version of the software there is no order measure button available. One must choose to measure either using diagonals or points on screen. B software versions come with auto measure. Once your test is completed, you can move the position of the workpiece to find another position to take another test. But let's review more of the digital interface. On the top right, we have refresh. 
Then we have auto measure. And then we have measure by diagonals or points for the A version software. Next is delete the previous measurement. Next is select data file locations. Next is to generate reports. On the far right, you have an image library. Conversions below that. And farther below, we have a table, hardness tester results. Below that, we have settings and parameter changes on the fly in statistics, machine control, hardness curve, conversions, corrections, and others. This concludes our application and function guide for the Phase 2 900-398B Macro Vickers Hardness Tester. Should you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us.